Good day and welcome to our first Sunday in November as we share the good news of our faith in Jesus Christ with worship and prayer and meditation and also this day communion. And I invite you now to join me in our call to worship. Let us share together. I give you thanks, O Lord, with all my heart. I will sing your praises before the gods. I bow down before your holy temple as I worship. I will give thanks to your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness because your promises are backed by all the honor of your name. When I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me the strength I needed. And as we gather this day with the strength, hope, and love of our God, we share it with each other across the airwaves a word of welcome, a word of well-being, a word of peace. It is the Hebrew word that Jesus spoke at the resurrection, the first word he spoke, shalom. And in that shalom, may we have well-being, welcome, and peace these coming days. And, and I invite you now to share that welcome, that well-being, that shalom with me. Shalom. Shalom in Christ. And in that shalom, we light the Christ candle. As Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall never walk in darkness. Our faith guides us each and every day to walk in the, love, in the light of faith, hope, and love. Amen. I invite you now, this day, to join me in our prayer of preparation together. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear my prayer. Instill in me your goodness, glory, wisdom, and grace. Empower me with your love as you exhale your mercy. Fill me up so that I may be a beacon of hope, light and love. Guide me with the help of angels to do unto others as you would have me to do. Order my steps to move in a righteous direction and allow others to do the same. Drop me to my knees so that I may give you the praise and thank you for my many blessings. This is my prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
Our scripture lesson this Sunday is from Psalm 138, which is entitled, A Prayer of David. It says this, Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. You say your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble I call on you, for you will answer me. May I, God add blessings to the reading of this word and bring blessings to those who hear the spoken word and written word and transform it into the living word in their hearts and minds and spirits this and every day. Amen. This psalm is a prayer of David calling on God in his time of need. It is technically called a lamentation. It is a plea for help. But notice the wording of it, because there's one word there that stands out. I am devoted to you. What does it mean to be devoted? In the New Testament, Paul writes letters to the various churches he helped to found. And in each letter he said, brings greetings to the saints who are gathered there. The word saint is the same word in Greek for devoted. He's writing a letter to those who are devoted to the faith, devoted to God and Christ, devoted to God's care and well-being and love for them. That Greek word is called hagios. And in its other forms, that word also means holy. Like in the hymn, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. It also means sacred in its forms. That those items which are holy, like the Bible, are devoted to God or sacred as objects, like the cross, are devoted to God. And that Paul, Paul and his writings saw these people he was sharing with as being devoted. That's why he called them saints. As a matter of fact, the word saint did not come into the language until about the 13th century, but devoted. And my question this day for all of us is, what is our devotion to God? What does God ask us to do? To lift up our soul, our spirit to God. To lift it up in care, compassion for ourselves and for others. That's devotion. To be devout, again, a word of holiness, of belief. How are we devoted? We're devoted in our respect for others because our faith calls us for that devotion to be respectful there is a system of belief which says in fact if you don't believe like me you're an outsider that's not devotion that's cynicism and anger we're called to be people who care for ourselves and for others. As Jesus said, you shall love your neighbor, literally, whoever that neighbor may be, as you love yourself. You shall be devoted to your neighbor as you are devoted to yourself. 
the tragedy of many lives is that we are not even devoted to our own selves, or care about ourselves, or concerned about ourselves. How, if we don't care for ourselves, can we care for others? Concern. To be there to help other people in their time of need. That's a form of devotion, of being devout, devoted. How can we do that if we don't care for ourselves with concern, with care, with well-being, to maintain our physical, mental, and spiritual health? And as we care for ourselves, we can care for others. That's what devotion is. That's what a saint is. That is what sacred is. That's what holy is. And I invite you today to be a holy person, a sacred person, a saint, to lift up the good news. In a time of crisis in our world, where violence seems to be prevalent, be with those concerned about those in conflict that they may find peace, respect, hope, care, concern, and compassion with those who they disagree with. In our own nation, we're going through a time of crisis, I believe, of uncertainty, of political uncertainty, social uncertainty, religious uncertainty. Not about how others believe, but how I believe, how we believe, how we practice our faith with respect and dignity. With a hand reached out to hold another hand, no matter who the hand may be. That devotion is the parables of Jesus, of the good Samaritan who stopped to help someone else of the sower who sowed the seed with care, concern, and compassion to help it grow to become a full harvest. We are the ones who make a difference. You and I can be, make a difference. I do confess at times I have my issues, uncertainties, fear, and anger. But the idea of the lament of David is, gracious God, Help me overcome those moments. Help me in my uncertainty, my fear and anxiety. I am devoted. Be my help. Gladden the soul of your servant. And I lift up my soul to you, my presence, my being to you. You are forgiving. Help me to have that forgiveness within me towards others and to myself and to be steadfast in my faith, my hope, my love. May this be our prayer this coming week for all of us to be steadfast in our journey with each other and in God's presence to guide us watch over us and lead us. May God bless you and keep you this day. This I ask in Christ's name to all the saints who are gathered to share the good news. Amen. I invite you now to share with me our Lord's Supper as we remember that first Lord's Supper so long ago, when Jesus gathered in an upper room in the city of Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover of the Jewish people. That night he gathered there, I believe, not only with his disciples or apostles, but with family and friends to share that meal of joy, thanksgiving, and salvation. That night, in an upper room in Jerusalem, Jesus lifted up two elements that he shared that night. He took bread and broke it.
and said to those gathered, this is my body given for you to take and eat in remembrance of me, that we receive Christ's presence within us as a journey in our life. And likewise, that night he drew a cup and said that night to those gathered and to us today, this cup is a new covenant in my blood given for you for the remission of sin, the removal of sin, the relief from sin. And I invite you now, if you can, to share these words. The body of Christ given for me and the cup of the new covenant shed for me. Amen. As we gather the pastoral prayer this day, I invite you to lift up your prayer to God that we are devoted, caring, compassionate, concerned people, devoted to the good news and faithful in the good news, and to pray for those who have experienced loss and tragedy this past week, from violence, hatred in our nation, in Palestine, Gaza, and Israel, in the Ukraine. And pray for someone you know needs a word of blessing and care. Let us pray. Dear and gracious God, creating God, you are devoted, caring, concerned about your creation, about those, each of us, who are created in your image. Help us to experience that care, your care compassion, your compassion, your concern, your love for each of us and the world around you. And in that devotion that we receive, help us to be devout people in our care for others, for those in the Middle East who are in warfare to bring peace, for those in Ukraine to bring peace, for those in this nation who are adrift find a way home with good news, that where there is anger, hatred, and violence, it can be overcome by our actions. May your blessings, your presence, be with us, O God, this day, and be with us and within us, that we experience and feel the breath of your spirit, the warmth of your care, and concern of your compassion for each of us gathered. Be with us, bless us, and keep us. This I ask in Christ's name. Amen. I invite you now to share with me this day the prayer Jesus taught us to pray, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for being with me this day. Have a joyous week coming up. Have a joyous Thanksgiving as we gather a few weeks to share the good news of our faith in Thanksgiving. 
the blessings that God has given us on our life's journey. And as we go forth this day, I invite you to share with me our benediction. Let us share it together. The Lord will work out his plans for my life. Go in peace. Amen.